All right, guys, hope everyone's having a great weekend. This is going to be another gear review by the X-Ring. All right, so there's, uh, you know, I don't do a lot of gear reviews unless I have a lot of experience with that gear. I'm not going to be one of those that just recommends something because somebody sends it to me. Uh, this is not the case here. Uh, this is um, a company that makes holsters and other things called QBO Tactical. They are based out of Las Vegas, Nevada. I believe Roger's the owner. I will put a link in the description below. Uh, for some of their uh, their website, basically. So if you wanted to get online and look at some of these, uh, you can. I've been very, very satisfied with their holsters. I've been carrying this one here for two months, and this one fits the P365. And I know there are a lot of manufacturers out there that are making, or people that are making Kydex holsters, okay? It doesn't take a lot of materials to do that, and you're just having the presses and everything else. But every once in a while, one will kind of stand out with their fit and finish and quality is just really good. And this is one of those, QVO Tactical. They do a really good job with their fit and finish on their Kydex, very durable material. And they also have this little uh, wing here. Uh, well, I'm gonna call it a little wing, it's a standoff. And what it does is it presses against the inside of your waistband and it actually tilts the, the pistol rearwards so that it hugs into you and it doesn't hang out as much. So very, very satisfied with this holster. I also had ordered the Wingman. Okay, now this one was called the More Discreet, and this one is called a Wingman. The only difference is, is this has provisions for a spare magazine. So you basically place your magazine in there, it clicks in, you do have retention, and then the pistol went in on this side, very small compact package, and so with the 365, depending on the magazine I'm holding, uh, you know, I've got 20 plus rounds uh, on tap there. And this was done in the black carbon fiber. Price point on the more discreet was somewhere around 60-ish and on up. You would just have to contact them if you have a certain pistol configuration light combo that you want to see if they do or if they have the mold for. But very impressed with the quality. No time at two months that I've been wearing these have I had any hot spots or anything that aggravated me. Uh, so much so that I ordered one for the Glock 19. This is a wingman as well. It holds the spare magazine on the side. And this one was also done with a Glock 19 with a Streamlight TLR7. Big shout out to Streamlight for providing this light. I will do a review on this light. Nice positive retention, adjustable. And you guys can see that mold work on the backside for the flashlight. These go on and off very quickly. Uh, this isn't a review on how to carry one or anything like that, but I usually carry the wingman. I'm gonna carry it dead up front. It's pretty simple. I just basically get a finger under the start tab here. I insert it into the pant. I make sure the backside is in just like this, and you guys will see how tight it holds everything, okay? So that's with a Glock 19 with a weapons light. So you guys know I've been searching for a weapon light for the uh, SIG 365 for a while, and there's not a lot of options out there. I didn't want to go with the SIG uh, light. So once again, Streamlight came to the rescue with the TLR6. This is their light laser combo. Really nice little package. It has a button on each side, but we're not reviewing the flashlight here. But I need a holster for this. So I reached out to the guys at QVO Tactical, and Roger was able to come up with a more discreet like this. And they asked me what I wanted in regards to, you know, the holster, the colors, things like that. Guys, it doesn't matter if it's pink, you're never gonna see it. If you're carrying it concealed, it's gonna be under a shirt or under a jacket, uh, but the quality, fit, finish, retention, everything good with it. This was the first one I'd ever had with the fabric wrap on it. I'm sure you guys can hear that even from this distance. And the one thing I did experience, I did experience a little bit of a hot spot right here. I had to take a, an X-Acto knife and just shave a little bit of that material off because what I didn't experience with these, this was all nice and smooth. This has that texture to it. And so that being up against my belly was actually starting to rub, especially I did a five hour long drive the other day and this was on the entire time. And at the end of the day, I was like, oh, that's a little tender right there. Not a dig on them, it's just if you order one, just be aware if you order the exterior wrap fabric, you might feel a little bit more texture there. Uh, it definitely holds inside of the pan a little better because you have more friction there, 
uh, than something like this, but I did experience that little tiny hot spot there. But like I said, little nick done, gone, quick, violent, over. But uh, very, very satisfied with this product. So if you haven't checked them out, go check them out. I've got the link at the bottom below. They do other things other than holsters. I believe holsters are their primary business. But I also did see on their website, they do a bunch of apparel, swag, and then also like RMR uh, plates for the Trigicon for like a CZ P10. So they do other things. But uh, I just wanted to talk about them because I have been carrying them and using them. Hope to see you guys soon. Getting ready to head out this weekend with KB32 and uh, some other guys. And we're headed to the Iraq Veteran 8888 machine gun shoot. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the channel. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down there. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good week.